But this is a teaching that really says there really is no problem, it's just the misperception of your identity has generated a world in which there seems to be these problems that have no end, uh, that you have to deal with on a daily basis. And let's say you have the top 40 to deal with, and you whittle away, and you handle a few of them, and then you've got the next wave that comes. And it's no wonder people seem to age and grow old and get sick and die. I mean, if you end up handling illusory problems day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, it's bound to wear on you. In fact, Jesus says uh, that, that time is, is, is weary, you know, it's, it's, he says you're not really capable of being tired, but you're very capable of wearying yourself. The strain of constant judgment is, is exhausting, virtually intolerable. And it's because that we really weren't created to be judges. We weren't created to be constantly picking at things and evaluating things. Maybe a calculator or a slide rule is good for that, but our mind wasn't designed to be constantly calculating and evaluating. Uh, it's just the ego. When we believe in the ego, then we get into this calculating, uh, evaluating, um, just minute judgments that go on all the time. You meet somebody new, and right away the ego kicks in with starting to put them in some kind of a box. Uh, just based on first impression, just kind of snap judgments, you know, it's already the box starts to come out. And if they say or do a few other things, maybe it's like, okay, I have to shift you over a couple boxes. I basically got you pegged, but you got to be shifted over. And this pathway of forgiveness is saying, let your consciousness, let your mind be washed free of all of those little petty judgments, uh, all that chitter chatter, all that, that little minutia that's going around there. It's just not serving you. And let the judgment of the Holy Spirit guide you where to go, who to see, what to say, what to do. You know, it's still, it's not like you're, you're left with a blank uh, mind, initially, you, you are given prompts and guidance of how you can be truly helpful. And in that purpose of being truly helpful, that's where the washing away occurs. So if you, if you try to meditate, you have trouble meditating, don't be too concerned. There are other things that you can be guided to do. And uh, you might be sent on, as the Course says, many busy doings. But you have a ball, you know, you just have a, have a wonderful time because it's really like the Spirit is doing it through you. Uh, so it's judgment through you rather than by you, which frees your mind. So, to me it's very practical. Um, I, I really feel energized by, by being in purpose. I do see that my, my function and my happiness are the same, and so it's not like outcomes and events have any, that bring me any happiness anymore. It's just this intrinsic, bubbling flow of purpose that brings the joy and happiness. And then everything else is just more just by watching, watching what's appearing. So, I'm here for you today just to, to be fully available to you and answer questions that you have. Hear your experiences as you're working through the same mind frame. Uh, and your experiences that you share is really a benefit to everyone. Uh, whether it's this group right here, or uh, whether a story you tell uh, gets put on the internet uh, and helps somebody living in China, or India, or some remote uh, part of the world where they don't, can't really go out for these kind of gatherings. They just have to rely on the internet. You know, we, we have no idea how something that we share with the Spirit will bless our brothers and sisters, and it's really beautiful. And also we will, as I said, we'll be doing some sing-alongs today. So we'll be passing out some sheets of uh, lyrics, and I think you're going to find that these will help you in being able to look more lightly upon the ego and see it for what it is. See its nothingness. 
see that uh, it doesn't really have any power over you unless you let it. And uh, we're, we're going to uh, pull the linchpin on the ego and show that it just doesn't have any power to dictate to us the kind of life that we want to live. So, I want to open it up and if anybody has any uh, topics uh, on the way over, uh, before we, it was like last night Mike checked on the, uh, the tour and he said, just to remind me of what title of the tour was this time, that uh, only love is real. Mmm, yum. <laughs> that's our that's our title. And so when we have these discussions, that's the purpose is to let go of anything else in our lives that is that is giving us the illusion of reality. That is like a mirage that we're taking far too seriously. We need to let go of. The question is, what is the purpose that I perceive for us being here? I see it as, as forgiveness. And so it's a very high, it's like a lofty goal. Uh, complete forgiveness is a lofty goal. It's the same as saying like salvation or enlightenment, really. But forgiveness, um, it's a forgiveness where you can just see the false is false. So it's, it's not a forgiveness where you start to be able to pick out strands of, of hurts and grievances and find a way to deal with these hurts and grievances. It's more of a perspective going so deep into your awareness, into your mind, that you can just observe the ego and see its unreality and have a good laugh at these things that once seemed to be so serious, so heavy, you can have a good laugh. So in my sense, I feel like I, I do have a good laugh every day. And we, every day goes by, common things that seem to occur in the world, headlines on the newspapers or on the internet, uh, are just very funny to me. Uh, it just seems like a very, very funny world because I've learned to just see the false as false. And the ego would have you take things seriously by, by holding on to certain thoughts and beliefs and then getting into a defensive mode or a reactive mode. And so this gentleness of seeing the false is false. This has gone on for me for seemingly years and years. And now I'm just kind of really just opening up fully into the joy of, of really being so aligned in my my gleeful purpose of forgiveness that that I don't spot errors. So it's like they they have gone from my awareness. So it's not like I first see something and have to like work with it. Uh, now it's like I've gone where I'm to the point of overlooking the error and just flowing in the joy of the purpose. So in one sense, you could say uh, it, it makes everything very easy because without perceiving problems, you don't have to search for anything. You're not searching for solutions. We're not searching for another way to look at it. It's like you're you're in Holy Spirit autopilot. Uh, you let go of trying to steer uh, the ship or steer the, the plane, and it's just you're more like a passenger. Uh, than anything else, just being carried along. And when people say, is that very passive? Well, it's, it certainly doesn't feel, from the world's perspective, like passive or active. It's more like a sense of witnessing, just witnessing everything. It's, it's a witness self, not the sense of trying to be active or passive, because that still involves like a doer. So this is, is lifted beyond that. 